No hilarious T-shirt this time, Brad. I'm sorry. It's just pretty. But the G's folded over, so it's Uardians. <laughs> Uardians. So, Brad. Yes. Are you a fan of My Chemical Romance? What the band? What else? <laughs> so that's why to see what you'd say. <laughs> My Chemical Romance. Uh, Black Parade, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you. Did you, you just sound unsure about it? Like, surely well, you would know. I, I, I don't listen to a lot of MCR stuff, so yeah, I was just I. double checking. I know Black Parade is definitely one of theirs. I was just checking! Am I not, am I not allowed to make sure anymore? What about uh, the Famous Last Words? Do you is remember that, that one? Is that another song by them? Yes. How does it go? I'm not singing. <laughs> one second clip. <laughs> Famous last words, my chemical romance. Famous last words. No one's gonna get that joke. <laughs> oh, we could. We finally have an opportunity to explain our dumb in jokes to people. When I can't remember. I don't I, know how it came about though. You I just... think it was because you asked me if I knew the song "Stars" by Medina Lake, and I didn't. So I just started saying Medina Lake stars, stars Medina Lake. <laughs> And this was like <laughs> nine or ten years ago, and it's still a joke today. Where if I don't know a song, don't that know needs... it, you just sing the title and the artist's name repeatedly in some random tune. Because people like our little in jokes, like the spider thing. Lots of people love that. Spider! Oh, there was a spider crawl on my chest the other day. Fucking oh, hell. Oh, God. Sorry. My, my chemical romance, go on. There's people in the comments who are like, you guys keep going off topic too much. It's, it's like, you. It's, a, it's not just me. Um, I, I found this fact, I... I... <coughs> <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't, laugh at your, I shouldn't laugh at your pain, I'm sorry. <coughs> Continue. Um, I wanted to mention this fact because I remember seeing this in the Famous Last Words music video. Because last time I watched the video, it's not there anymore. And I'm like wondering if I imagined it. You know when you think you misremembered something? Where are you going? I'm so intrigued. <laughs> You watched a music video in the past and you've recently rewatched it and something isn't there. Um, yeah, so I rewatched the music video, which is this fact is based around, and the the bit of the footage that I'm gonna talk about, or the fact Just tell me what it is! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really good at <laughs> organising You sentences. filled in the mystery really well. I wanna what disappears? During the music video for Famous Last Words, the drummer basically caught fire on his leg because his drum kit was set too close to the fire, which was in the background. I, I don't think you've seen the video. Probably not. But yeah, they're just singing in what looks like a desert area. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> you know how music videos are, they're just in random locations, but there was just fire burning in the background and his drum kit was set too close to the point where he got second degree burns. Oh shit. Which then led to gangrene. And I remember, cause like, you could smell it through the TV. No. <laughs> no. Because I'm pretty sure at the end of the music video, there was a clip of him basically with his leg like on fire. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Professionally unprofessional people. Get excited, okay. Keeping Carl's mantra alive, um, one fuck up at a time. So what I remember is I'm pretty sure at the end of the music video, there was a clip of him with his leg on fire and he was just like patting at it and stuff. I'm gonna knock this off again. <laughs> <laughs> we can imagine somebody patting fire off their leg without you right, demonstrating Right, okay, I'm just going to say it again without doing that. The, so the part of the music video I remember seeing is at the end of the song is just a clip of him with his leg on fire and he's like patting it out or something. And what would that look like? Can you demonstrate it for me, please? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <That's a shot. laughs> Oh hey, it's future Nisha here. While filming this video, we forgot to mention it's actually sponsored. So before we get back to my well-structured sentences, here's a word about our sponsor. Hi everybody, Far Away Lucas here, and I'm excited to tell you that this video is sponsored by a previous partner of ours, Established Titles. That's right everybody, we're here once again to make the small wood, small wood happen. Established Titles gives you the chance to become a lord or a lady while also helping you preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland and help with global reforestation efforts. The title pack available entitles you to at least one square foot of land in Eddleston, Scotland, and it also comes along with a nifty certificate that will tell you exactly where that plot of land is. In fact, Lady Nisha, Lady Nisha herself, got a certificate from established titles due to a previous sponsorship. And the first 200 people that use the code FATFIEND10 when purchasing their title pack 
will be guaranteed land just by Lady Nisha's, which means that we can help build the Smallwood Smallwood. Along with your purchase of a plot of land, Established Titles also works with two global charities, One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, which means that a tree will be planted in your honour to help with reforestation efforts. In line with Scottish customs, owning this plot of land does officially let you change your name to Lord or Lady, and that means that you can put it on like your plane tickets, your credit cards, your dating websites, whatever you'd like to use it for. Plus it also comes with the ability to purchase a couples pack, which means that you'll get adjoining plots of land so that you can become lords or ladies together. So I'd like to thank Established Titles once again for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check it out, the link is in the description below and you can help build the small wood, small wood with us. But for now, it's time for the rest of the video. Anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had that clip in at the end of the music video, but I watched it recently and it's not there. So I was like, am I misremembering it? But I looked it up and obviously found the facts and also found behind the scenes footage like after it happened of him like sat down and then he, he was being tended to by medics. So I was like, oh, so it did happen. But where's the footage? Where's that clip of his leg on fire? I, I'm sure I didn't imagine it. This is like um, uh, me and my mum with You've Got Mail. Mm. So me and my mum have been doing a Tom Hanks movie marathon yep. and we recently rewatched You've Got Mail, which is the film where Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, Meg Ryan, yeah, nearly forgot then. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan uh, are two people who don't like each other in real life, but they're communicating through online instant mail mm -hmm. and they, you know, fall in love through that. But me and my mum both remember the film ending with a scene of Meg Ryan's character in Tom Hanks' character's bookstore, reading a book to all the kids. Right. And the camera pulls out and he's relocated her shop into his store so she can carry on, um, like, s selling books to kids and enjoying the thing that she loved to do with her life. But that scene doesn't exist, nor did it ever exist. And the reason why this is so strange is because when I look this up, we're not the only people who remember it. There's a massive online... Like a uh, like selection of people on Reddit and people who wrote articles about this missing scene that never existed, and it's something called the Mandela effect. Yeah, I was going to say Mandela effect because yeah. it's all like logos. There's always things about the logos where do you remember a logo having this or not having it, and you're like, oh, it's obviously that one. Yeah. And like you think, oh, that's what the logo looks like. It's like, no, it never looked like that. You're like, oh, it blows your mind. So the drummer, his leg got set on fire, and you remember seeing that. I'm pretty sure there was a clip at the end of the music video, but I watched it recently and it wasn't there. I don't know if it was covered by the annotations, you know, at the end of videos on YouTube, now they're just covered with yeah. the next video or whatever. But I'm, I'm sure it's not there anymore, but there is a behind the scenes footage of him being tended to. Maybe it's on YouTube somewhere, I don't know, if I can find it, because I'll edit this one. If I can find it, I'll put it in. Oh hey, it's me again, sorry. I did find the clip that I was talking about. It was actually part of the outtakes version of the video, not the official music video. And I also misremembered what happened because I mentioned that his leg was on fire. As you can see, it's not on fire. He's just in a lot of discomfort. So yeah, it does exist. I guess like if you saw the fire and the drummer, you may have just created the scene. And when you read about the real fact, you put two and two together. I think, it was my friend who was really into my chemical romance at the time. She pointed it out to me. She said, oh, his, his leg catches fire at the end. And I was just like, oh, yeah. Does the drum get set on fire? I don't think so. I think, it's just, cool I think it's just his leg. I guess another thing to add to that fact is that um, they were filming that video and Black Parade over the span of two days. And they said on day two, that's when things started getting messy and there was a lot of injuries. So the rhythm guitarist Frank like tackled Jared Way and he like, tore ligaments in his leg. So there was that, as well as, you know, catching fire. I don't know what it is, but when someone says something tears, it sounds much worse than a break. Ooh, yeah, I'd imagine it. Because I sprained a knee ligament, which is not as bad as a tear, but that was painful enough spraining um, a ligament, so tear. We'll, we'll end there then. Speaking of music, like we're, we're big fans of the game Guitar Hero. Oh yeah. Or Rock Band. Both. Pretty much the same thing. Rhythm gaming. Rhythm gaming, yeah. Actually, the whole the whole crew is pretty big fan. To the point where we're doing a live event based around that. So yeah. it's rock band karaoke. 
somebody must have done this before. Like, Rob Bond Karaoke know. seems like an absolute, like, steal of an idea. I can't wait, honestly. I love that game yeah, so much. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. I'm going to sing my little heart out. Is there a song that you particularly want to sing? Ooh. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember the discography too well, but one song I definitely would want to sing would be Backcountry. Oh, yeah. Because Backcountry is a fucking That was belter. solid on drums. <laughs> <laughs> solid on drums. We're not having drums at this one. It's just, I think, two guitars and the microphone. So. Yes. And uh, I know, like, a lot of people probably won't want to sing. So I have, uh, Carl's and uh, Carl and Nisha and Lucas are all like, Brad, you're going to have to sing every song. <laughs> you don't have My to. My throat is going to be fucked. I mean, people who turn up might want to go at singing. Maybe. I just can't sing, so I just think I don't want to make people's ears bleed. Let's be honest, a lot of people who do Guitar Hero can't play guitar, so... True. The, pro the thing is, though, right, so with the guitars, it's just pressing buttons. It's like pressing buttons in an order. Mm -hmm. But to be the singer you do need to be able to sing. Like, you don't need to be able to play a guitar to play guitar, but to be able to sing, well, you have to be able to hit the notes. Yeah, well, you don't have to be a great singer, because I used to go on Sing Star, and even if I did it in a funny voice, as long as I hit that like level, that octave or whatever, I would hit the notes perfectly. Uh, I remember when I found out how to break Sing Star. So, not like physically. <laughs> No, uh, it was at a school event we had SingStar, mm -hmm. and I realised that the way that it worked out whether or not you hit the notes was that it would just have the note. It yeah. wouldn't have in, in like the way that people sing the note, it would just have the flat note. So I think the song was Obviously by McFly, and I managed to get like exceptionally high score by going, ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Like you don't sing the words and you don't you do any of the actual yeah. rhythm of the song. You just sing the notes. I'll be honest. After about two songs, I think people will probably be like, just sing the songs. Imagine if we went to the live event and they're like, Brad, Africa by Toto, and then they're going. I think there's one song that you might struggle with because I think it'd be a hard song to oh, sing. Oh, which one? is the one that I requested that Lucas buy because um, he bought Africa by Toto for Carl because yeah. Carl obviously wants to play that. And there was one song that I wanted to play. I didn't realise it was on Rock Band until I just... It popped up on YouTube and I was like, wait, that's DLC for Rock Band. I can play it. And it's My Demons by Starter. Of course it is. It's my favourite song. So you're going to sing that one then, yeah? No, I'm going to play yeah. guitar. So you're going to sing it? No, I'm going to play guitar. How many tickets would we have to sell for you to sing that song? I'm not singing it, I want to play guitar. <laughs> we could do both. I'll hold the microphone in front of your mouth. You can sing whilst playing. If I've agreed to wear a mankini if we make enough money on the Patreon... I don't want to ruin my favourite song by me singing it as a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should practice, see if I can do it. Because I can't... Because my voice is quite low. I can't hit any high notes. There we go. If we if ta if we sell out tickets, Nisha will sing that song. Done. If the tickets sell out for the live event, so anyone who is in the UK, uh, the event is going to be held in Sheffield. <laughs> Look at her; she's already fretting it, and we're not going to sell them all. Uh, yeah, the live events in Sheffield at uh, Esports Bar. So if you're in the UK, at Esports Bar, an Esports Bar. <laughs> I think anyone who lives nearby could probably get like a late train back, but if anyone's coming from a long distance, I'd recommend like an overnight stay. Yeah. Uh, when I was living away, I stayed at the Easy Hotel, which was extremely affordable. And it was around the corner. And it was just around the corner. And it has hilarious glass doors on the toilets. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I only, know that. I only know about that because your pictures. That just sounds very weird. <laughs> Oh, there's the famous video. I'm going to get permission from oh Tom. God. Can I show that video of Tom peering over? Oh, what a nice hotel bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. Tom Kirkbride, he's a good friend of ours. Uh, he's actually got his own YouTube channel. I guess we may as well plug that while we're talking about him. There's so many things. Yes, we can. Tom Kirkbride, Sleepless Readings. Go listen to him tell horror stories. But yeah, because he's got like a proper deep voice. Oh, but he could sing. He can sing. I've not heard oh, him yes. Sing. I hope Tom comes. I'm going to make him sing. He can sing My Demons instead. <laughs>